All these fucking niggas in my face. Oh yeah, it's cause you the man. All these, all these fucking niggas in my face. Throw it in the air, make it look great. Hey. Hey. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zay with Paved the Way Candles back with another video. And it's crazy because y'all probably just seen me in this last video. It's the same day. Two videos in one day. So, um, like I said, y'all, I'm trying to be consistent. Bring y'all as much content as possible. Um, right now, I got Zaza and I do have chocolate rinse out. So, what I'll do is I'll flip the camera. I'll flip the camera so I can take a look at them. That's the puppies. You know, the puppies don't like anybody walking past them while they're in the kennel where they lose their mind. But um, I'm about to go ahead and flip the camera. And um, while well, I record them, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all some... I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all some things that can happen in the breeding game that you need to look out for. Um, because I made a video kind of like this a while back because everybody just swears you're going to jump in the game and get rich off of it, which that's not the case at all. You're going to take plenty of L's before you see any return on your investment. So let me go ahead and get the camera flip while I record the dogs. Um, I'll let y'all know what's going on. All right, y'all. So, so, Zaza. So my girl Zaza. And there go chocolate runts, a little self. There go to everybody in the kennels. All right, y'all. But, um, so yeah, we're going to start out, bro. All right, so first off, when breeding, you always have to look at, um, you know, things can always go wrong, man. From, we're going to start out, we're going to start off with, if you just see my video that I recorded earlier today, which this video is going to be posted a day later. So go watch my video from yesterday. The female that I had on that camera, I'll say in December of this year, I just dropped my first letter, right? I lost my mom. I lost the mom of my puppies during the C-section. And I, not only did I lose the mom of my puppies, but I also lost two puppies who was born dead. And since that was my first litter, I didn't really know. I had to bottle feed puppies and I really didn't know how to whelp. So I ended up losing seven other puppies. Those two puppies right there in the middle kennels are from my litter. I kept all three of them. So one, you got to think about, boom, you can always lose your female, you know, I, me personally, I was breeding, I bred a standard female and she, you know, you expect standard females to be able to deliver their litter naturally. Nope, not mine. Had to rush, get a C-section and I, and she didn't even survive the C-section um, because they said she had too many pups in her. And by the time they took all those pups out, they were too big and she had lost too much fluid already. So um, you got to look at that. You're going to be losing dogs. You're going to be losing puppies. Um, eventually, you're going to deal with it some, somewhere down the line. It's going to be impossible to avoid. Um, if you're going to do this, you know, consistently, and this is what you're doing full time. Chaco! They like to go under the deck. But, um, yeah. If this is something you're doing full time and something you want to take serious, you're not going to be able to just avoid that. Um, but, yeah, like I was saying, y'all, um, you, you should expect to lose puppies. Not only should you expect to lose puppies, but you should expect to lose dogs, um, adult dogs you're going to lose. Um, not only that, but what I was really getting to in that point was that in December, my female that was in the last video right here, Margella, this female right here, this exotic female, her, she had skin problems. Her, her skin was messed up. As you can see in the thumbnail, in the thumbnail, that was her. That was her skin. That's what it looked like. Um, it was really bad. Um, so I ended up having to spend a lot of money on medication to get her back right. Um, you know, we had to do a lot to get her back together, y'all. From medication, you know, bet. You know, we just had to, it was a lot. We had to spend a lot of money on different things. It wasn't just, you know, we give her one pill and she's back to normal. Nah, we had to buy a whole bunch of stuff. So you got losing puppies, losing dogs. These dogs get sick. 
um let's just say your brain breeding standard and you didn't take into account that you have to get a c-section you might need an emergency c-section this boy right here you might need an emergency c-section um so you got to take that into account it's just bro like it, it's a lot of things you're not just going to get into this game and just be rich making look at this boy making me chase him where you going boy want nothing they could he could be running on and choke on but um yeah y'all those are just a couple of the things um let's see what else what else what else shoot you might pay a stuff fee your female might not take shoot i i bought two females before that couldn't even be bred my first two exotic females i bought never came in heat never came in heat um it's just it's a, it's a lot of different stuff bro it's a lot of different stuff you know i don't i, I me personally this didn't happen so i didn't have i didn't have um people that i know in the bully game spend ten thousand dollars on a dog and it died before they were evil even able to breed it just all kind of stuff man you know you got to be you got to be ready to to lose money you're not it's not always just gonna be gain 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 you're gonna lose a lot more than you gain at first once you get to a comfortable spot, then, you know, you might pull out to the point where, you know, you could set yourself up in a position to win and make sure everything go right. But starting out, bro, you're not going to know everything to do. You're not going to know, you know, you're going to take some L's before you get those W's. So, but you got to look at everything as a, as a lesson learned and not a loss, bro. Because me losing my first litter like that, bro, that's the worst thing I could have met. I could have went through. So moving forward. Since I decided to stick with it, you got to look at it like it can't get no worse than that, bro. You feel me? That's the worst it's going to get. I know what to deal with. They, I was putting the worst. I was putting the worst position I could have been put in for my first litter. But that's going to prepare me for every litter, litter moving forward. So, y'all, you're going to take your L's. But, hey, nope, don't even do it. Don't even do it. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Zaza, come on. They trying to drink that dirty water. But yeah, y'all. So just know you're going to take your L's before you take any W's, y'all. Some people are lucky where they start off, you know, taking, um, they might start off and just be winning. You know, they might have that luck, but I'd rather take my L's in the beginning. So when I do take an L eventually, Moving forward, you know, it won't be nothing to me. It won't, it won't phase me, you know. Come on, come on, y'all, let's go. So, yeah, y'all. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and make that video for y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get them back in the house, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Um, remember, if you were interested in DMX, he's 1500 co-owned right now. My highest offer on him has been 3K to buy outright. So if you're interested, hit me up about that. Also, I will have puppies. Uh, she has, she should have a litter on the way if she, if her litter's confirmed. And then DMX should have a couple litters on the way too. Um, that I'm getting some putbacks off of. So y'all stay tuned. I'll have some more stuff coming for y'all soon. Like I said, I'm trying to be consistent. But um, thanks for tuning in, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Hey, Red Man, cut it out. And these puppies crazy, y'all. But yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Pave the Way Candles, and I'll see you in the next one, y'all.